Hey guys, you want to learn how to hold your guitar pick without it flying out of your hands, getting away from you, hitting the floor, going in the sound hole. Had some uh, folks asking me some questions about this lately. I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar. I teach folks over 40 how to play guitar so they can have fun, relax, and be part of a great online community. So this lesson is going to be how to hold your guitar pick and hang on to it. So the first thing I want to talk about, just a few tips in this lesson. First tip I'm going to tell you is to use a larger pick. So I'm using this size of a pick, and that's great when you're first starting out as a beginner. Uh, there's also, there's various sizes, all kinds of different types of picks. Um, I would not recommend using a pick of this size, kind of this teardrop jazz size pick when you're first starting out if you want to hold on to those picks, which we all do. So go with a size of a pick about this size, and you'll be good to go. And we're going to back this way up, go basic with how to hold that guitar pick. So I recommend folks kind of pretend like you're pressing on a remote control. Remember what remote controls are back in the day when we had those. Then you rest your pick onto the uh, top digit of your index finger and then press down with your thumb, kind of like you're clicking that remote control. So when you have that kind of a grip there, uh, you'll have much better control. So and a lot of things I see newer folks do, we'll just kind of mute our strings for this lesson, is they'll kind of pinch the pick. So if you pinch this pick kind of in the back here, like I can't even begin to strum like that. I, I know and I can feel like it's going to pop out of my hand at any time. So really kind of look at it as a, uh, you got to play around with it. It's not something you just kind of pick up and go with. Um, you're going to have to experiment, see what works best with you. And you're going to want to move up on the pick for more control. So even when you're holding it the correct way, or this way, you want to move up a little bit, maybe a quarter inch or so of the top of that, you know, the tip of the pick showing. Tip number two is a biggie, probably the most important one. I see folks kind of strumming with the pick straight into the strings. And when you do that, you know, kind of, you know, strumming kind of horizontal to the ground, it's just, you know, you can feel like it's going to pop right out of there. So I tell folks to pretend like they are turning the key in a lock. So you have kind of a rotating motion with your wrist. And think of it this way. When you're strumming, you're strumming down, you're actually pointing that pick up about a 45 degree angle or so. So down. When you strum back up, you're actually pointing that pick down slightly, another kind of 45 degree angle down, and bringing it back up. So you have this kind of a motion, so kind of turning the, uh, turning the key in that lock. You have this rotation going, so it's much more smooth. Most of the work's going to be happening in your wrist, not so much, you know, your elbow or your arm. And just doing that, try that out, and you'll see, like, you, know, you can feel a lot more control already. The pick actually does bounce a little bit inside, you know, between your thumb and your index finger, and that's totally okay. And you'll have to play around, kind of tip, another tip here is play around with the pressure that you use on your thumb. You'll have to kind of mess with that. You want to hold it down, you know, but you don't want to white knuckle kill it, you know. You have this kind of a, this kind of a motion. You know, feel a lot more control there. And lately I've had some members in the Relax on Guitar membership uh, give some good tips on this topic as well. Uh, they make a lot of different types of picks, experiment with them, they're not that expensive. They make textured picks that have kind of ridges there, um, some that are even kind of tacky and a little easier to grip. I had folks say that they have taken, like if you had a pick you really like but it's kind of slick, you can just take some sandpaper and rough it up a little bit and that gives you a little more you know, texture and pressure, a little something more to grab onto. So those, uh, just pr play around with it, have fun with it, try things out, see what works best for you. Those are my best tips on how to hold into that pick and not lose it. So if you've not yet, please head over to relaxlearnguitar.com and check out the uh, free lessons I'll send right to your inbox. I've got a free challenge link here in this description. We do live challenges and there is a free uh, Johnny Cash. We're doing Folsom Prison Blues 
and that lesson uh, it's a five-day challenge you can check out the replays and that'll hold you over until the next live five-day challenge so check that link out here in the description make sure that you like the video subscribe to the relax on guitar channel here on youtube and i will see you guys for the next lesson take care